They heard several gunshots around 10.50 a.m. When they checked, a man was lying dead on the ground. He is still unidentified. The wounded woman was rushed to the San Fernando General Hospital, where she's currently being treated. CNC3 News will update the story as the information becomes available. And a 27-year-old man was gunned down as he stood outside Movie Town in Port of Spain last night. Police were on patrol near Price Mat at Movie Town at 8.18 p.m. when they heard gunshots. Now, on checking the area, they found Odell Samuel bleeding from gunshot wounds while partially hanging from the pavement on the Audrey Jaffes Highway outside Movie Town. Police from the St. James CID visited the scene with a district medical officer who declared Samuel dead at 8.30 p.m. Police from the Western Division Task Force and the Homicide Bureau of Investigations Region 1 also visited the scene. Still on the crime front, four days after more of a residents reported hearing gunshots in their neighborhood, the decomposing body of a man was found nearby. Police said residents of Geranium Drive reported hearing gunshots around 7 p.m. last Wednesday and saw two men running on the street. Well, around midday on Sunday, the residents said they detected a foul odor coming from the side of the road. Police were called in and found the decomposing body of a man wearing a white hoodie and blue short pants about 35 feet down a precipice at the side of the road. Investigators also found three spent 40 caliber shells. Police are yet to identify the deceased victim. Police from the Homicide Bureau of Investigations Region 2 are continuing those inquiries. Moving on now, the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission says Trinidad Generation Unlimited has scheduled a total plant shutdown for over the weekend. Now, this shutdown is to facilitate critical upgrade works and is expected to take place during the hours of 10 p.m. on Saturday to 9 a.m. on Sunday. TNTX says PowerGen and Contour Global Trinity Power will make available the required capacity to satisfy the expected low demand of the island during those hours. However, should these IPPS suffer any loss of generation during TGU's shutdown, it will result in TNTech having to shed load and consequently a temporary loss of electricity supply, well, to some customers. TNTech assures its customers that it will work closely with TGU and its other independent power producers to ensure that in the unlikely event of any loss of supply occurs, the disruption will be minimal. Customers in Tobago, however, will not be affected by this planned shutdown. Looking after your mental health is as important as taking care of our physical bodies. This from Amilka Sinatan, Assistant Director of Gender and Child Affairs, who says there are a lot more people that are in need of mental health care than ever before. Sinatan is reminding both men and women, as well as children, that there are resources available if or when the need arises. He says there are many people who are not making use of these opportunities. We have a mental health crisis in this society and we have to do our best with the media, with civil society and surely with the state. The state is to provide the infrastructure and the resources, but the people have to mobilize. Sinatan says the Education Ministry is ensuring that there are trained professionals available to those students who may be facing mental health as well as behavioral challenges. In the Ministry of Education, they do a lot more in terms of the training or the teach, the cadre, the teaching labor force to be attentive to that, but also the student services development to respond to it. And when we see maladaptive behaviors in the classroom, it's not just to punish, but to provide the psychosocial support that is necessary. Now, the Ministry of Gender and Child Affairs has initiated 16 days of activism aimed at bringing awareness and solutions to end gender-based violence. By April 2024, residents of Sangri Grandi and Environs will be able to occupy the new hospital. Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh made the announcement during the Eastern Regional Health Authority's Excellence Awards at the Bishop Anstey High School East over the weekend. But keeping with the theme of the awards, the minister gave the healthcare professionals a challenge for when the three-story building opens. So we open point 14, new point 14. Going real good, eh? We open Arima. Arima is fast becoming and getting the reputation for being the best place to be in Trinidad and Tobago if you're sick. Eh? So your challenge is when we open Grandi, you are to take Arima off the pedestal. 
But the health minister told the audience even if they do that, most of the attempts will go unrecognized. But let one thing go wrong, and the media poisons the population and forget the 999,000 good that you did. Well, some of the awardees included Sharifa Ali, who won the Individual of the Year Auxiliary Staff Award, and Dr. Damien Baste, who won Individual of the Year Medical Professional. The Best Managed Facility Award went to the Sangre Grande Enhanced Health Center. We've got all your sporting action up next, so don't go anywhere. The biggest Christmas sale is at Seaview Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. Encash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Encash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Encash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Encash. I accept Encash. I accept Encash. Find businesses that accept Encash with the nearby business feature. Visit Encash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. PRW say support your local people this Christmas. Check out our tent sale from 24th of November to the 1st of December. Smart TVs from $1,687.50. Special on real leather bags from as low as $100. Get your Oculus Quest 2 only $3,500. Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5 at low prices. Get a robot vacuum only $1,399. Seven feet pre-lit Christmas tree, only $700. Visit any of our five locations. Delivery. Oh my God. Oh, you won't believe me, but I'm actually Santa Claus. Retired. Right. And what are you doing here? Well, I had a delivery and I looked inside and it reminded me so much of home. Aww. Dear Santa, the heart of Christmas is at excellent stores. The biggest Christmas sale is at Seaview Optical. Get an amazing 60% off designer frames. Also, get 40% off prescription lenses. Plus, you get a free pair of Polaroid sunglasses on selected purchases. See us today at Seaview Optical, affordable eye care for everyone. Welcome back. Trinidad and Tobago Soka Warriors will head into Nations League quarterfinal action tonight at the Hazley Crawford Stadium against the USA in the return leg. With an uphill task on their hand, the local men will have to overturn a 3-0 deficit if they are to book a semi-final spot. In the pre-match press conference on Sunday, head coach Angus Eve remained optimistic about his team's chances but acknowledges that it will not be an easy task. One of the key players, Andrew Brayman, spoke in the first leg the mood in the camp. For me, you know, it was a pleasure to, to hold the team. Unfortunately, we didn't get the results we wanted. But, you know, coming home, we have the advantage. You know, I think we went a man down, that was unfortunate. It was a disadvantage for us, you know, we saw in the game. But I think it had positive in the game also. And we can build on that coming forward now. We'll be a little bit more positive, most definitely. Uh, we, we want to win the game. So we'll do everything in our power, the way that we want to play to actually get the result from the game. Wishing the team all of the very best. Well, the National Association for Athletic Administrators through the Women's Subcommittee held its second women's sports seminar workshop at the VIP lounge of the Hazley Crawford Stadium on Saturday. Among the areas covered at the seminar was health. The topics discussed helped the young female athletes to embrace equality and develop their images. Former Olympian Candace Scott shared her story of how she overcame adversities to excel in her career. Multi-athlete Amy Gray was one athlete who was appreciative of the seminar. I found the topics were very relevant to some issues that we face as athletes and I truly enjoyed it. I just think it's a wonderful experience and we need more girls involved in sports. So I think encouraging peers and friends to come out to this would be a great thing to help build up our athletes. The 
Women's Subcommittee is chaired by Kyuki Melville. That's all the sport news we have for you. It's back to break. Wondering where you're getting money to spend this Christmas? PECQ welcomes both new and existing members to take advantage of our unsecured Christmas loans up to $20,000. Or get that showroom or roll-on roll-off vehicle with only 10% down payment. Call us at 623-5561, 624-3280 or WhatsApp 294-1122 for more information. Terms and conditions and normal lending criteria applies. PECQ Credit Union, where your needs are up. Concerned. When I walk in sometimes and I step up, I nearly fall on thing and I... Radhika's vision affected her ability to do her job and to take care of her loved ones before she got surgery at CVRS and Trinidad Eye Hospital. The staff on it was real good. Even the girl when she was carrying me to the room, she hugged me up, carried me go. From the time I reached inside and I told me to call my shit, I could see all the writing on the board. Call us at 235-4834 today. Wait now, is litter you litter in there? There's one bottle like a small thing. Small thing to litter, big thing. Like flooded! Bring in rats, roaches and flies. Yes, I don't want to get sick. We can make a difference by... By planting trees. Using reusable bottles. And bags. Keeping our country clean. For more information on how you can be an Earth Defender, visit us on swimcall.co.tt. Look out for us coming to your school soon. Things don't always go as expected. Be ready with Trinry for auto, home, business and group life. Call us at 800-TRIN or visit trinry.com today. Huge insurance premium. Pay your premiums bit by bit with FlexiPay from Trinry. For more manageable auto, home and commercial insurance payments, call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Trinry, premier insurance coverage for less. A group of about 30 premature babies evacuated from a besieged hospital in Gaza on Sunday have crossed into Egypt. The babies were patients at Al Shifra Hospital in Gaza City, now occupied by Israeli forces after heavy fighting earlier. Now, the Hamas run health ministry in Gaza said an Israeli airstrike on a different hospital killed at least 12 people. Israel has not commented but says it's attacking terrorists and terrorist infrastructure in the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, Qatar, which is trying to broker a deal, says only very minor obstacles remain to Israeli hostages being released. Now at today's weather forecast, Trinidad and Tobago is expected to be hazy and breezy at times, despite a few light shower interruptions. There is a 20% chance of the odd heavy shower over western parts of Trinidad during the afternoon. There is a significant concentration of Sahara dust present in the atmosphere, so take the necessary precautions. And that is sensitive persons in particular. You should definitely ensure that you take the necessary precautions. Seas are moderate with waves reaching 2 meters in open waters and almost 1 meter but choppy in sheltered areas. The forecast maximum temperature for Trinidad and Tobago is 32 degrees Celsius. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's development so far. We'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day. CNC3.